I'm in Dorchester County and the person you're looking at is an image of Harriet Tubman. And the reason why we're here is we're here at the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Visitor Center, uh, one of the newest stops on the Underground Railroad Trail. And joining us to talk a little bit about what's going on here is none other than Angela Crenshaw, who is the ranger here, and she knows a little bit of everything about this. Uh, and let's, let's first of all, this was a big undertaking. You brought a lot of things together. One, so let's start off at the beginning. Uh, what was Harriet Tubman's like earliest memory? Her earliest memory was lying in the cradle that her father made. We talk about that over there, and then we have two local artists who actually recreated the cradle. Uh, so we have young Harriet Tubman holding one of her younger brothers, either Moses or Henry, with the cradle. Now, one of the things people will see while they are here is a number of exhibits exemplifying certain portions of her life. Like the one behind us is w what it was like to be a child uh, during slavery. Want to, want to explain a little bit about that? Sure. The quote says, I grew up like a neglected weed, ignorant of liberty and having no experience of it, and I was not happy or contented. And it shows young children working in the fields with equipment. Some of them are wearing shoes, some of them are not. Usually young enslaved children did not receive shoes. And it shows the very important industries of fishing and oystering, timbering and farming, which are still important in Dorchester County today. Obviously the institution of slavery was not a pleasant time. Uh, she actually saw her three sisters get sold. Talk a little bit about that, if you will. That's correct. Her three sisters, Lina, Soph, and Mariah Riddy, were sold to a chain gang, sold south, never to be seen again. And her sisters also left very young children, and that scarred Tubman as well as her mother. Uh, Tubman can remember the cries of her sister as she's being pulled away on the chain gang, leaving her two very young children. It also, these exhibits uh, talk to what life was like here in this area, if you will. Uh, when we started off, we showed you a picture and an image of Harriet Tubman, and she's standing on a wooden wharf. People will go, what's that all about? <laughs> sure, that image that you saw is actually Tubman in the timber fields. She spent a lot of time in the timber fields with her father, who is a very respected and skilled timber foreman, and her brothers. Uh, and this shows them in Stewart's Canal. So when the trees were cut, they were then floated down Stewart's Canal to the shipbuilding towns of Church Creek, Madison, or Wolford. And it's within these timber fields that Tubman learned the skills necessary to make her a successful conductor on the Underground Railroad. Skills such as outdoor survival, reading the landscape, and foraging for food, as well as being comfortable in the woods. She went to the Bucktown Village store, which was similar to a grocery store at that time, and she went with the plantation cook, and they were gonna purchase a few items. While they were there, there was a runaway slave and a slave catcher. And the runaway uh, slave catcher said to Tubman, hey, grab that slave, and she refused to do so. So the slave catcher picked up a weight, a two pound weight, and threw it, meaning to hit the runaway, but instead he hit Harriet Tubman square above her eye and it knocked her out. In the final section of our exhibit hall, we talk about her first emancipation, which was her self-emancipation in 1849. She thought that she would be slit sold, and as I mentioned before, she lost three sisters very early on to the chain gang. So she emancipated herself. And then she came back 12 more times for other family members and friends whom she couldn't live without. We list those names uh, in the back there, and we also highlight the importance of the Underground Railroad and the fact that it was a network of uh, like-minded individuals that wanted to help emancipate other enslaved people. Well, what's the thing that people should take away when they come here? I'd like people to know that Harriet Tubman was an amazing woman, but she was just that. She was a normal woman born into bondage. She was illiterate and she had amazing obstacles in her way, but she never let those get in the way. She overcame all those obstacles to do amazing and great things. Angela, thank you so very much for letting us take a peek inside of both the visitor center and the various things that you have here. We hope that you will take an opportunity to come here they tell me it's a little bit easier to get a, uh, there are no tickets here, is that no right? No tickets, yes. So you can come here literally at any time and, uh, and get a chance to see everything. But for right now, let's go back to the studio.